McGill is here with the full forecast snow on the way again. That's right. Some more snow late tonight, Jim, into early tomorrow. Right now, we've just got some light snow showers, a few flurries, and even a little bit of freezing drizzle possible over the next couple of hours. So watch out for a few slick spots if you're headed out tonight. But most of the snow is going to come, I think, tomorrow. Some more snow on Sunday, maybe as much as three inches for areas well south of the city. Most of us probably less than that. And a couple of colder days coming up next week, too. Nothing bitterly cold in terms of Arctic air, but definitely a little bit of a chill in the air at times next week. This is the snowfall that fell overnight last night and during the day today, about three inches in Julia, a little over three inches, a little over two inches in Plainfield. Woodstock picked up 2.2 inches, just over two in Park Forest. Elk Grove Village, about an inch and a half. Same thing, Willow Springs, just under an inch and a half in Geneva. Officially at O'Hare, I think we have about 5.4 inches of snow. Normally, we should have nearly 15 inches, so we only had about a third of what we normally see today. And we're going to add a little bit to that. We'll cut, cut into that deficit a little bit tomorrow. 35 degrees at O'Hare right now, 35 midway, 32 in Aurora, 34 degrees in McHenry. This is above our average highs for this time of the year, so we're still relatively mild. Uh, this evening, west winds around 5 to 15 miles per hour factor that in. It feels like the low 20s in our colder spots. Feels like 22 degrees in Aurora. Feels like 24 in DeKalb. Way out in Ottawa, feels like 21 degrees. So we've got this northwest flow going. We've got cloud cover wrapping around low pressure that's off to the east. And a little impulse of energy is being uh, caught up by this northwest flow and sliding in here. We've got one here just near Dubuque pushing into western Illinois. That'll give us a little bit of light snow shower activity the next couple of hours. But the stronger area of energy here is now coming out of the Twin Cities, Western Iowa. They'll continue to round the bend here and head our way for tomorrow. Looks like after midnight during the first part of tomorrow, especially, it'll start to lay down some snow. And most of that accumulation, the significant accumulation along and south, probably of I 80. So we're talking well south of the city. Here's our real time satellite and radar tracker. Again, just a few flurries, a few light snow showers in the next couple of hours. But we have to wait till after midnight. This is around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. A little bit more widespread snow starts to break out, especially south. That continues through about lunchtime tomorrow or up to about 1 o'clock. Could get a little bit of lake effect enhancement here near the lake shore. I'll have to watch out for that. But again, notice that most of the snow is falling south of the city, it looks like. And then it starts to taper off to snow showers and starts to dry out towards 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Then we should dry out for MLK Day on Monday. It looks like a quiet start to next week. No snow for us on Monday. And most of next week is going to be pretty quiet in terms of snowfall, as a matter of fact. Here's a snowfall in total later on tonight and during the day tomorrow. Maybe an inch to two inches south of the city. Again, this is south of I-80. Other miles are just suggesting about two to three inches, maybe a few isolated spots up to four. So we'll have to watch out for that. Most of us probably about a half inch to an inch. Tonight's lows will get down to the mid to upper 20s. Tomorrow's high temperatures getting into the low 30s, which is just about average for this time of the year. So your forecast for tonight down to 28. A little bit of light snow or flurries the next couple of hours. Might see some patches of freezing drizzle for a few slick spots tonight. Tomorrow's high temperature 34. Light snow. Most of us one to maybe two inches. The heavier amounts further south you go, maybe three inches well south of the city. And 31 degrees for us on Monday. Monday, a little bit of light snow or flurries on Tuesday and above average Wednesday, Thursday before we turn colder for next weekend, Jim. Tim, thank you.